um, for uh, my part of the uh, One World project, um, one idea I had was to visit a, uh, a pachinko museum, and it's in Itabashiku. Uh, it's raining today, and so um, kind of I don't know, it really kind of limits what you can shoot. But anyway, there's this pachinko shop, pachinko museum, a lot of old relics, as you can imagine. So that's one area that uh, I'm thinking of going. So um, let's go. Okay, we're in Shinjuku now, and uh, we're going to take the train from Yamanoka by the day to uh, the 40 station. Okay, let's go. Uh, my first location. Ikebukuro, and uh, we're going to go to this very unusual uh, eyeglasses or sunglasses shop. Very weird, and uh, that's a kind of quirky part of Tokyo. Uh, you kind of just scratch your head like, what? Um, yeah, so let's go check it out. Let's go. Okay, uh, we're here at my first location. Uh, there's this very unusual uh, eyeglass, sunglasses shop. And um, they sell stuff for really cheap. And just from what I've seen on the, uh, on the internet, um, just the whole world of rows and rows of different frames, etc. It kind of looks visually interesting. So um, let's go take a look and um, I, I don't know if the owner will let, let us take pictures or not, but let's go take a peek. So here we are at the Nogam Megane Hatsubutsuka, um, something glasses museum. And if you can see, my god, all over the place, we have all these things. This is the free glasses corner. Um, you buy something and you get money for free. Take a look. Again, this is one of the kind of unusual things in Tokyo. Just, you know, you scratch, you just wonder, like, what? That's it's very, very nice. First shot will be in here. Okay, um, I just shot about four frames, 
um, here at the uh, uh, something mega near Hot Spots Camp. And um, very dark inside. Uh, so it's kind of hard. I'm so careful about the shooting. But anyway, the, the, the owner, he was very friendly, very kind man. And uh, he was telling us about the shop. Very interesting place. Uh, definitely very, again, very Tokyo, yeah? Um, just weird. <laughs> of course, you know, I'm sure people have the image of Tokyo as uh, traditional. Uh, Shrines, a temple, etc. But these kinds of things also, uh, you, it surprises you. Uh, that's what's so fun about uh, living in, in, in Tokyo. Hello. Yeah, so very cool. Okay, so um, I just finished uh, my first location, which was uh, like a sunglasses museum. Actually, it's more of an outlet. But anyway, um, we're going to go to the second place, which is in. Um, so, I'm going to change to uh, one of the sunglasses I bought. Let's go! I can't believe I've already... Uh, I'm on my fifth frame. I can't believe I use that much already. Just do one, one shot, one shot. I'm getting kind of panic. Because um, it's a shop, it's a place of business. And you don't want to get away. Get in the way of the customers. So even though you gotta slow down, I find myself kind of panicking. So I uh, just need to chill out. Let's see if I can do that in the next place. Here we're in the uh, like a Pachinko Museum. It's Itabashiku. And you can see all these really old machines, games. Uh, I don't know the age or anything, but uh, I'll soon ask. And here they also sell some other goods. And a uh, real old shop. Real old feel. This is really cool. I think here it says Daga. I'm glad I came here. This is really cool. So these machines are from the 1970s. Uh, I believe he said from 1972. This pachinko thing. Wow. Wow, Japan. Before I shoot, before I shoot, I think I'm gonna try. Actually, maybe I should shoot now because I'm worried about the light. <laughs> and the kids are coming in too. What's going on? Some of the games are really are lit. Uh, some of the games are very dark. So, um, it's kind of hard because uh, the speed is uh, maybe uh, uh, 30 or 60. So, I'm going to use a, if I had a, if I had a tripod, which I'm bring today, uh, so instead I'm going to be using this monopod, I'm really getting nervous. Oh, <laughs> 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 
can't shoot it up with my reflection is showing in there. Let's take a look again. One, two, three. So um, we, I was just shooting inside this, um, I was, oh, by the way, I was mistaken. It's not a pachinko museum, but it's a, um, like a candy game shop. And I was just shooting inside in there, uh, talking to the owner, uh, nice man, very shy. And uh, we just take some shots maybe outside. But um, yeah, it was really hard because it's very dark, and um, I only have uh, uh, ISO 400 uh, film today, so I'm kind of worried about you know, the shutter, etc. But it's the name of the game, right? So anyway, we're gonna shoot this uh, facade here. What would you go? 30 at 8.0 or? 60 at 5.6. wires of this, this light pole, electric pole, and also the sign of the shop. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should ask for him a portrait of him. For that I want to change lenses. <laughs> yeah I'm debating whether I should shoot this um, Superman series here or this Showa retro um, gotcha gotcha looks like weapons. Yeah, look at these, they're so old, huh? 
just, you know, it brings back memories to, to play with these, not play, but, you know, to um, experience these things. Holy cow, they even have like a Nintendo right here. And you even have one that's like gold. <laughs> 11 frames. 11 frames. I'm on the 11th right now. We'll be on the 11th. Yeah, so I just took the portrait of owner of um, the shop and uh, took his portrait right here and yeah, he's, he's a busy guy so I didn't want to take his time and so there was a pressure to really you know get the readings right and uh, get the focusing which is hard um, so yeah it's gonna be kind of exciting to see the result of this but I have to say it was hard it was hard Finished. Omen it I'm psyched. Done. Time to eat. <laughs> That's How it. do you feel? I'm exhausted. Just from 12 frames, I am really, really tired. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm exhausted. I wonder how the other guys are doing. I'm really tired. 12 frames, that's it. And I mean, yeah. I felt like I was shooting all day. So, uh, yeah, it's time to head back. It's time to head back. This exercise really demonstrated that for me that uh, you kind of really have to um, think and be patient uh, measuring the light, composing, uh, focusing, etc. Uh, quite severe uh, and uh, it was fun you know how often do you do this how, how often do you um, how often do you put yourself in a situation where every shot really counts it, uh, you don't just shoot random like you would in digital but with film with 12 frames six by six yeah uh, it was um, it was a good exercise. You know, going back to basics. Um, and I think photographers should subject themselves to this sometimes to put themselves in this kind of limited situation, limiting situation. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious now as to how the others um, are going through uh, and finally what the pictures are going to look like. So, yeah. My thoughts. Thanks.